guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel, and I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be a flip through, kind of walk through, um, first impressions of this beauty hair. It is a CSB Kids Bible. It is a hardcover edition. It does come in other editions, um, which are the Leather Touch you guys can see that right there but um i have several of these hard covers i was sent a copy for review and that is the one that my son is using but then i purchased two more copies i did give one away to a young lady at my church and i have this one that i want to give away soon when i do it act sort of like a mommy and me giveaway but i wanted to flip through this because um I did a flip through, a quick kind of live thing on my Instagram, and of course, Instagram live videos only last 24 hours, so a lot of people still wanted to see the flip through, so I decided to make a video and post it here on YouTube, because um, I think it's cool looking at kids' Bibles. Um, I technically was going to keep this Bible for myself, but when I found that, that ChristianBook.com was having their um, flash sale, I ended up getting the CSB She Reach Truth Bible. So I definitely will be giving this one away. But I do have a copy for my son that's actually on the bookshelf now. Um, and before that, I'm going to show you guys the two things that I had for my son prior to. Um, my son is only four years old, but um, he enjoys the Bible. He enjoys Bible stories. So what I did do was get him... I actually received this for review. It is the... Roma Downey's Little Angel Bible Story book, um, and I got this last year for a review for my son, and I love it. He loves it. It is amazing. It goes through the different stories in the Bible from the Old Testament, so you have a lot of stories from Genesis. Um, you have some from Exodus, some from Numbers, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, Samuel, First Kings. Um, Second Chronicles, Esther, Daniel, and Jonah, and then you have some New Testament stories that come from Luke, Matthew, Mark, John, of, of course the Gospels, obviously. I'm um, trying to see if there are any other ones in here. I think there are. Yeah, you have some from Acts, um, the book of Revelation. So, I mean, it goes through some of the significant things in the Bible, but um, my son loves it, and, you know, the artwork looks like this. They give you things that you can learn. They give you stuff that, you know, activities your child can do. Um, a prayer and then a scripture you can read for your child. So, my son loves this. It has 100 Bible stories in it. And then I also got him the Our Daily Bread for Kids 365 devotional because you guys know I am a fan of Our Daily Bread. I mean, I rave about them all the time. And when I found out that they had a devotional for kids and hardcover, I snagged one up for my son. This is literally just a Devo. You get your date. Um, your scripture, your devotional here, and then you get a fun fact and stuff you can do with your kids, like, to read the scriptures further and understand further. Um, this is for kids ages 6 to 10 years old. This other one is for toddlers, is what I'm going to say. It's just, it's toddler-based. But I wanted to get my son a Bible because, um... You know, I just feel like he's going to need a Bible really soon. Again, he's only four, but I do like to read the Bible with him, or at least I try to. And um, I have been debating on if I wanted to get the NIV, the NIRV, or the NLT. But when I got this for review, I was like, yes. So, it is this, like I said. I got the hardcover, and I love the abstract kind of color, so it is very bright and fun, and it goes with um, a girl or a boy. So, whether you have a son or a daughter, this is great. I would say this is about the age bracket of 7 to 12 I would even say 6 to 13 because they have various different um, styles in the back but I'm going to quickly read what it says um, on the website well actually not on the website on the back and I'm telling you the price so it does retail for $20 but Lifeway right now has it for $13.99 which I think is a steal and um, definitely should check it out the leather touch versions are all $21 but, um, okay, so I'm going to quickly read what it says on the back. I'm going to flip the camera around and walk you guys through the Bible because I think it's absolutely stunning and I technically wanted it for myself, but I have my She Reach Truth. And if you haven't seen that unboxing slash first impressions, um, click the eye on the screen. You guys can check that out. But it says, Captivate Kids with God Stories. The CSB Kids Bible offers dozens of full-color study helps to expand kids' Bible knowledge and connect the people, places, and events they learn about. 
perfect for home, church, and school. This Bible will grow with your kids as they grow in Christ. It features 40 full-color pages with study helps and maps, large, easy-to-read type, Bible skills checklist, summaries for all Bible divisions, presentation page, full text of the CSB. Part of what makes the CSB Kids Bible so special is the readable, faithful to the original text of the CSB. The CSB optimal the CSB's optimal blend of accuracy and readability makes it trustworthy, easy to understand resource for kids to study, memorize today, study and memorize today, and to live and share for a lifetime. So, like I said, it retails for twenty dollars, but Lifeway has it for thirteen ninety nine. I'll also find it on ChristianBook.com as well as Amazon. So you guys can click the link down below for all three stores. And um, yeah, oh my God, you guys, I like this Bible. So what I'm gonna do now is pause, flip the camera around, so we can dive right into it. Okay guys, so here is this glorious, fabulous, just phenomenal looking Bible. First, let's talk about the aesthetics of the Bible on the outside. I absolutely love this, you guys. When I say that I ordered two of these, one to give away to a young lady at my church and the other one for myself, I wasn't kidding. But I do have my own CSB, which is the She Reads Truth, which is the only reason why I'm saving this for a giveaway. It's going to be a mommy and me type of giveaway. I'm trying to get everything together because I think I want to do a journaling Bible giveaway with that. But um, I'll talk about that further down the line, obviously, probably during Mother's, um, Mother's Day month. So, yeah. But anyways, um, yes, I, I love the colors. It's very vibrant. It's very bold. I love how it's unisex, so it can go with a girl or a boy. Um, you have your pinks and purples at the top. You have your reds and um, a little bit of like purple here, some blues. You have gray, you have pink. You have your orange centered, and I mean, it's just stunning. Like I said, here is a spine. This is the CSB translation, the Christian Standard Bible from Holman. This is the updated translation of the HCSB. And what I mean by that is I'm going to show you guys my devotional Bible. Um, and it's actually a study Bible. But um, this is my study Bible for women. Let me take the autofocus off quickly. This is my study Bible for women from Holman, as you guys can see here. But it is their HCSB translation. The only thing different is that they dropped the H and made it the CSB. Um, I don't know 100% what they changed or updated, but yeah, I didn't know that. Now I know, so yeah. <laughs> so I love this. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just trying to fix the camera a bit. But um, I love this Bible. When I got it from my son the first time around, he ripped open the packaging and he fell in love with it. Again, my son is only four years old, so he can't really read words like that. But um, he loves the Bible, just flipping through it and looking at the different things. So opening up the bible this is what your end pages look like i absolutely love it it kind of looks like um crinkled up construction paper and it's very vibrant with the orange i love the vibrancy of the bible the next thing you get is your presentation page so presented to by on this date john three sixteen. for god loved the world in this way he gave his own he gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. I love the contrast of the kind of like green with the mustard yellow. Just stunning. Then we get into some of like the Bible helps. So this first part here is how can the Bible help you? And I like how it gives you different scriptures for how you're feeling. So when you're angry, when you're afraid, when you're discouraged, when you're hurting... Um, or when you feel bad, rather, about hurting someone when you're having problems, when you're having problems with your parents, um, when you need to know God's will, when you're sad, you're sick, when you're tempted to be selfish, you're tempted to lie. And I think this is amazing because this is a lot of stuff that um, kids around the age bracket of 6 to 13 really deal with and don't really like to talk to parents about. So I think this is just a great reference for them to go to. The next section is studying your Bible. Again, the blue and purple. I'm loving the vibrancy of it with the white font. I think it's really nice. And the font is really legible, which I like. But um, it tells you different ways to study the Bible. So you can do Bible book studies, which is where you pick um, one book of the Bible, like Genesis, and study the whole book through. You can do person studies. So you can like pick, um, I guess, David and study David. And then Bible topic, where you can just pick a topic, which they give you an example, the Ten Plagues of Egypt, and study that through the Bible verses. So I like that it gives that tip. 
The next thing you have are the Bible skills, and they go from level 1 to 3, which I think is actually interesting. Um, they basically tell you here that, you know, studying the Word of God is important. You probably already have some skills. As you get older, you will learn more and more. Um, and it's basically kind of like a checklist. So, level skill one is you can locate two main parts of the Bible, which would be the Old Testament and the New Testament. You can pronounce all the names of the books of the Bible, which I think is a really interesting. Um, and even down to you, you're learning the five divisions of the Old Testament and the five divisions of the New Testament and reading your Bible every day. Level two would consist of you can locate um, a verse in your Bible in a short time. You can memorize a Bible verse or a short passage. Um, you read your Bible every day and find truths in it to apply to your life. Level three would be you can locate any verse in your Bible in a short time, which I think a lot of us still struggle with, even as mature believers. Um, you can easily use Bible study resources such as a Bible dictionary or concordance or an atlas, which I think is just phenomenal to help groom a kid to um, really understanding and studying the Word of God for themselves prior to them becoming teenagers or adults. Because even as teens and adults, for myself, I grew up in the church, but um, you know, I never fully read the Bible for myself. But if I had something like this to like make me motivated to read the Bible with bright colors and stuff like that, I definitely would have read my Bible. <laughs> So, I think that's amazing. Then you have this test your Bible knowledge. So, they just give you some questions and stuff that you can answer. So, who made an iron ox? I'm sorry, who made an iron axe head float? And they tell you where to go, which would be 2 Kings 6, um, verse 1 through 6. What king had thousands of horses and chariots? Um, who fell out of a window while Paul was preaching? Wow, somebody fell out of a window. I didn't even know that. Um, who ate locusts and wild honey? So I like that they give you little questions, and these are actually things I don't even know myself, so that's funny. Um, then you got your favorite Bible story. So they give you ten of the main important stories, such as creation, Adam and Eve, um, Noah with the ark, Moses, and, um, you know, setting them free, David and Goliath, Daniel and the lion's den, Jonah, Jesus' birth, his crucifixion and death, and his resurrection. They give you the references as well to where you read. But they also give you a slot here for the kid to write their um, four favorite Bible stories. And not scriptures, but actual stories of the Bible. So, like, if you have a, a daughter, she might like Ruth and Esther. Um, if you have a son, he might like something about King David that doesn't have to do it, obviously, with David and Goliath. But he might like something like that. Or um, the story of Jonah or something like that. So they can always reference that. I think that's cool. Then you have this part here, which is how do I have quiet time with God? Which I think is essential that everyone builds a quiet time. Um, I didn't really learn about that until last year myself. Um, I always knew quiet time was important, but I didn't actually build the foundation of my quiet time until last year when I was um while I was 26 and I'm saying while I was 26 because I'm actually turning 27 this year so um I didn't learn this till 26 so you know I think this is great that they tell you it says decide the best time to have a quiet time um find a private place where you will not be interrupted ask God to help you listen so basically you would pray and then you would read some verses and then in a journal and I love that they say in a journal or notebook make a list of all the things and people you want to pray for um, and also write down your notes and stuff of what you read and want to remember. And I just, I like how this really helps to build a foundation for a kid to really dive into their Bible. Amazing. Then you get your little, um, I guess, cover page, the Holy Bible CSV translation. Um, the paper quality is pretty good. You get all the copyright information as well as the ISBNs for the other, um, other four types, which are the leather touch ones, which you'll see in the in the back when I get to it. Then you get your books of the Bible and your content, so your Old Testament, New Testament, additional materials. You get an introduction to the CSB translation, which I think all Bibles come with an introduction to the translation. Some of them I do read. Um, how the names of God are translated, so they have Elo Elohim, Yahweh. El Shaddai, New Testament, they tell you how to read the footnotes and stuff like that, so that is pretty cool. I'm going to try to not make this video so long, you guys, but I like this Bible. And then you get your commonly used abbreviations in the CSB, such as BC, Before Christ, um, AD, in the Year of Our Lord, uh, HB, which is Hebrew, Greek, and all that great stuff. I'm not even going to read through all that I was, but, you know, Old Testament, 
and here's what the actual scripture looks like itself. So you have the Bible here, um, and it's a two-column kind of thing, and then at the bottom you get your little footnotes, which I think is cool. It does break it down by section, so you have creation. But um, that is it for the Old Testament. And is there a page in here? No. Um, so here you have the books of law, which would be Genesis through Deuteronomy, and they tell you about each one. You have the story of creation here, and then you have the family of Abraham here, which I like that. So you have Sarah, Abraham, and Hagar, because of course Abraham and Hagar had Ishmael. And then you have Rebecca and Isaac here. And then you go all the way down to Jacob to, you know, Manasseh and all that. So I think that's cool. And then you have the names of God, which are Elohim, El Elyon, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, Yahweh, Jehovah Nisi, um, Jehovah Shalom, just a whole bunch of different names of God. The references to it, the meaning, and then the English name of what it is. So I like that. Flipping to the next one, you have the Ten Plagues. And behind that, the Ten Commandments. Next, I don't want to mess this up because I am giving this away. Um, you have the books of Old Testament history, which will be Joshua to Esther. And just, you know, brief information about each. Then you have a map. Um, this is the trial allotments, the tribal allotments of Israel, sorry. Moving along, the next one is here. The books of poetry, which are Job through Song of Solomon. And then Psalms for all time. So just some Psalms that help you remember certain things. So Psalms that can help you praise God. Um, psalms that help you know God's protection, that know about his word, to help you worship God, to find hope in him, to know his power, to trust in him, to understand his love for you. So I like that they have that because Psalms is, of course, an inspirational one to read. Then you have the book of the major prophets, which is Isaiah to Daniel. And on the back, the minor prophets, which is Hosea to Malachi. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead to the New Testament. Okay, so here's the end of Malachi, and then you jump in to your New Testament. And I think this is a nice place where a kid could like decorate if they wanted to or put notes. So, you know, and of course, you can add Bible tabs in here, obviously. But um, here's Matthew, same kind of setup with the two columns. It is red letter text, which I am such a huge fan of red letter text, you guys. It may not seem like it makes a difference, but it just makes it pop more when you're reading the words of God. And I mean, not the word of God, the word of Jesus in red, because um, it just really helps you to really solidify it in your mind and know the difference between Jesus speaking in the Gospels versus the disciples or, or other people. So um, it is definitely red letter text, and I am all for red letter text. I love red letter text. Like, I love it. So, then you have the book of the Gospels and New, His New Testament history. The Gospels are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then the history book would be Acts. You have the life of Jesus, which I think this is cool. So, born in Bethlehem, worshipped by the wise men, learned at the temple, baptized by John, called Peter, Andrew, James, and John. He calmed a storm. He fed the 5,000, which would actually probably be about 20,000 if you include the, the women and the children from that. Um, how he blessed the children. He entered Jerusalem, Jerusalem triumphantly. <laughs> resurrected. Jesus is alive. I mean, sorry, crucified on the cross. Uh, he was re resurrected and then um, his ascension. So I like how they do that. Then you have the kids in the Bible, which we all know Cain and Abel, because Cain killed Abel. You have Ishmael, which was Abraham's son with Hagar. Isaac, which was Abraham's son with Sarah. Um, Jacob and Esau. Joseph, Moses, which are two amazing kids. Samson, Obed, um, Obed, sorry, Samuel, David, the widow's sons, Josiah. I mean, you have all the 
the children, including Jesus, like Jesus in here. Duh. <laughs> Um, moving along, moving along. The names of Jesus, which is Jesus, Emmanuel, Son of David, Christ, Son of Man, Holy One, Word, Lamb of God, Savior, Bread of Life, the Light of the World, Good Shepherd, Son of God, Lord, Lord of God, I mean, Lord of Glory, Chief Cornerstone, High Priest, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega. And, um, you have the references, the meaning, and the English name. So, Jesus um means Yahweh saves and English name is Jesus of course Emmanuel is God is with us son of David one who brings in the kingdom Christ son of the living God which is also the Messiah the son of man a divine title of suffering and exaltation holy one perfect and sinless and the list goes on then you have the apostles of Jesus so you have Simon John Matthew Simon the Zealot Thaddeus um Judas Iscaris, uh, you have Philip, James, son of Aliphas, James, son of Thunder, and James is the brother of John. So there was two James, of course, um, and you have Andrew, Bartholomew, which would also be Nathaniel and Thomas, so I like that they give you that, 12 disciples. And then the miracles of Jesus, they break down from Mark. They, they take a lot of them from Mark and a few from Luke, which I think is interesting. They, they don't share the ones that happen in Matthew and John, but I guess they all overlap anyway, right? Right, so they give you some of the miracles. Um, Then you have the books of Paul's letters, which goes from Romans to Philemon. I think that's how you pronounce that name. That Yeah, I still to this day don't know how to pronounce certain titles in the Bible. Um, This is Paul's missionary journeys, his map. I love how vibrant the maps are. Okay. The books of the general letters in New Testament prophecy, which would be Hebrews to Jude, are the general letters. And then Revelations, the book of prophecy. Prayers in the Bible, which I love this. I actually need to... Well, luckily my son has a copy so I can take these down. But um, I like this. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. And they give you prayers, like the type of prayer. So you have praise, thanksgiving, confession, intercession, petition, commitment, and benediction. I love it. And they tell you what they are, um, what they mean. Old Testament examples. They give you New Testament examples. And then Jesus is teaching, which is amazing. I'm actually going to copy this into one of my Bibles. All right. So I'm just going to skip ahead to... The end of Revelations here, and then you have this section called Where to Turn. So, this is kind of like how they had at the beginning um, different scriptures you can read when you're feeling a certain way. So, these are scriptures you can turn to when you're like feeling bitter, when you wrong someone, when you um, think you're the only one being tempted. Because a lot of kids do feel like they're the only one being tempted to do things and not a lot of other people. Um, when they're tired, when they're afraid of death, when they want to take revenge, which I think is amazing. Down to when you seek assurance of God's purpose for you. And they give you the scripture reference. Your tables of weights and measures, of course, obviously weights, length. Um, and I like how they do it also in the U.S. equivalents, which is amazing. Because other Bibles really don't do that. I'm just saying there sometimes I have to Google it myself, but I like that. Your dry measures and your liquids, and then you have your topical concordance. So I like that. So you have ability, abstinence, acceptance, um, affections, afflictions made beneficial, afflictions, ministry to those experiencing afflictions, prayer in the midst of afflictions. Um, so that is the concordance, and it's a pretty nice concordance for a kid. Then you have the route of Exodus map. The travels of Jacob and Joseph, which I'm loving this color, of course. The kingdoms of Israel and Judah. Jesus' birth and early childhood. Israel in the time of Jesus. The Passion Week in Jerusalem. And the churches of the Revelation. And then in the back, you just get this uh, little piece of paper here which shows you the different type types of uh, leather touches they have so you have this gorgeous kind of teal with purple and pink and it says hope on it it's $29.99 but right now again on um, Lifeway they are all on sale for $21 or $20.99 so 
They're normally 30. They're on sale for 21 on Lifeway. But here is the Hope Leather Touch and the Love Leather Touch. And I just love how they have the um, edging on there. Like, I'm tempted to order these two, you guys. My son already told me he wants the Space Leather Touch. So depending on how he is with the um, hardcover, I may actually just get him a Leather Touch and use the hardcover to make, like, um references i guess for myself in the bible for him if that makes sense and then they have the power leather touch which i think is super cool that they really are catering to the um different types of children out there because you have so many different designs on top of the you know regular hardcover now i am a fan of leather bound bibles just because i feel like they last a little longer um hardcovers as well i'm not a fan of paperbacks but you know I think the leather touches are really nice, and I'm definitely looking into getting this one for my son because he really does want this. So, you know. And if I do ever have a daughter down the line, I definitely would get her one of these because they're just, they are so, like, I like them both, you guys. Like, whatever. So, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I definitely would say check out the Bible for yourself. Get one for your kid or for yourself because I love the little insights that they have in there. Um... I think kids, kids' Bibles are really awesome to play with and to read as an adult, and they're very useful for kids to groom themselves into um, their faith and their, their spiritual walk with God on their own. But um, I'm a fan of this Bible. I think it's amazing. Um, again, here are the other two. Um, if you guys would like to see reviews on them, I can definitely do reviews on them. This one is the Our Daily Bread for Kids, uh, 365 Meaningful Moments with God from Crystal Bowman and Terry McKinley. It is from the Our Daily Bread Ministries, of course, because I was obsessed with them. And then I also have this one that my son is currently using, which is the uh, Roma Downey's Little Angels Bible Storybook. And this is an NLT translation. Yeah, Tindall Kids. It's in the NLT translation. But um, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.